And finally, at Kitty Hawk in 1903, let's cheer it. The first real airplane really flew with Orwell there to steer it. And finally, what happened? There was the first real airplane. Where did they try that? They tried at Kitty Hawk. Where? At Kitty Hawk. Where was it situated? It was situated in North Carolina. When? In 1903. Let's cheer it. Let's cheer it means it was a time of celebration. Why was it a time of celebration? Because many people could not try this. Many people might not have believed this. Many people might have criticized them when they were trying to find out the new airplane. Because they did not have much education, they were not trained to find out. So many people might have criticized them. They were not discouraged. They didn't think it in a negative way. They took it very positively. They were optimistic. They wanted to try. They wanted to achieve in their lives. They tried hard. They were dedicated. So finally they were successful and it was the time of celebration for them. So what did they do? They found the first real airplane and it really flew. Who steered it? With Orwell there to steer it. Orwell. Orwell Wright steered it. Wilbur Wright stood on the earth observing it happily. Many more people observed it. And they felt happy. They believed. Actually, here one thing uh, I would like to say. It seems they had an agreement between them. They had talked themselves. If one brother died, if any failure was there, at that time, one more brother had to continue. They had spoken between them like this. Fortunately, it was a success for them. Nothing happened to any of the brothers. And it was the time of celebration for the whole world. Now, we'll go to the next lines. And kingdoms may forget their kings. And dogs forget their bites. But not till man forgets his wings will men forget the rights. And kingdoms may forget their kings. There were many kings. Kings ruled many kingdoms. Those kingdoms ruled by many kings may also forget their kings. Stephen Vincent Bennett is exaggerating here by saying this sentence. Dogs who bit many people may forget those people whom they had bitten. But men cannot forget these rights. Why? Until they fly in the aircraft, they cannot forget them. They made the impossible possible. Here, what is the main theme? Main theme of the poem is their dedication, their creativity, their willingness to explore something new. Their encouragement. They encouraged each other. They were not discouraged. Never give up attitude. If you want to achieve these things, if, if you want to achieve anything in our life, these are very important for us. Never give up attitude. Dedication towards the work. Creativity. Thinking positively. Optimism. All these things. No one had ever demonstrated how the process of flying could be turned into a possibility. But still, Wright brothers never gave up dreaming. They failed many times. They suffered the failures. They never stopped. They continued to encourage each other. They continued the work. That gave them the success. That made their dream true. Now, let's discuss the poetic devices. 
first poetic device is a conversational style poet has used the conversational style means it's almost like the way we speak see here orville right said to wilbur right what did he say he said these statements so these lines are like two people normally speak so this poem is in a conversational style this is one of the poetic devices we'll go for the second one observe the rhyming words here trying flying true w grand shant another other shop soda pop repairing daring there air noses roses these are the rhyming words but the poet has used irregular rhyming pattern next we'll go to alliteration what's the meaning of alliteration alliteration means it contains repeated consonant sounds you just observe here fun of flying so observe fun of flying f f sound so these two are the consonant sounds which are repeated so these are alliteration we'll find some more examples they glided here or they glided there you observe the sound here they 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 there so this is an example of alliteration and one more example is sometimes skinned yes yes sounds next example real airplane really flew ra ra sound and kingdoms may forget their kings k sound so these are the examples of alliteration next poetic devices idiom idiom means these are the words which convey the different meaning from the literal meaning for example a bed of roses when you read the words they give different meaning and inner meaning will be different so a bed of roses means easy so it was not an easy task for them so this is an example for an idiom we'll go to another example another example is let's cheer it let's cheer it means let's admire the innovation so this is another example now we will go for the next poetic device next poetic device is exaggeration these four lines is an exaggeration poetic exaggeration what do you mean by poetic exaggeration poetic exaggeration means it's it is to speak beyond the normal it's over emphasizing something this poetic exaggeration is called as hyperbole so he is exaggerating and he is saying kings may forget their kingdoms do they forget dogs forget the people whom they had bitten that might happen but he is saying men never forget the rights so he is exaggerating by using these four lines here this is called as a hyperbole next device is epithet what is epithet it's a word applied to a person or a thing to describe an attributed quality I'll give you an example to make you understand. 
but not till man forgets his wings observe this sentence here wings of the airplane is transferred to a man man doesn't have wings but wings of the airplane is transferred to a man it's almost like man is very happy as if he got the wings himself i hope you understood what is epithet so these are the poetic devices he has used in this poem thank you